DILG Secretary Mar Rojas once said, The seal of good local governance is a symbol of integrity and good performance. The SGLG with the tagline, Pagkilala sa katapatan at kausayan ng pamahalaang lokal, is the DILG's strategy in pushing the frontiers of local accountability and performance. It realizes the shifts of the department's approach in assisting local governance after the passage of Republic Act 7160 or the Local Government Code of 1991, from capacity building to performance assessment and now to performance incentives. The high percentage of passers in the seal of good housekeeping or SGH, which looked solely at financial transparency and accountability, signaled the readiness of most LGUs nationwide for greater challenges. The SGLG was then introduced in 2014 as an offshoot to the SGH in order to challenge local governments to continue good governance practices while providing better public services. With the SGLG, assessment is focused in three core areas, good financial housekeeping, disaster preparedness, and social protection, and three essential areas, peace and order, environmental management, and business friendliness and competitiveness. For a local government to be conferred the seal of good local governance or SGLG, it needs to pass the three core assessment areas and at least one essential area, dubbed as 3 plus 1 principle. The 2014 seal of good local governance assessment result reveals that there is more that need to be done. Governance challenges that need to be hurdled and national laws that need to be strictly complied with by our provinces, cities, and municipalities. In Caraga region, on a general trend, among the three core assessment areas, most of the LGUs are doing well in good financial housekeeping, while a good number are found to be disaster prepared. Alarmingly, most LGUs need to improve on social protection area. Meanwhile, in the essential assessment areas, Almost all of the LGUs show good performance in peace and order. Majority of LGUs hurdle the criteria on environmental management and business friendliness. While all provinces and all cities passed business friendliness and the majority passed environmental management, there were more municipalities that passed environmental management than business friendliness. The inclusion of these identified assessment areas in SGLG are considered to ensure that the desired governance conditions for the LGUs are attained. With good financial housekeeping, DILG aims for a condition where LGUs sustain the practice of accountability and transparency. Hence, two requirements are looked into, the COA opinion and its compliance to the full disclosure policy. The COA opinion of the preceding year should either be qualified or unqualified to pass the GFH. On the other hand, compliance to the full disclosure policy is measured through the posting of 14 financial documents in the FDP portal and in three conspicuous places in the locality. Based on these indicators, Caraga Region has a total of 75 LGUs with qualified or unqualified COA opinion while 76 LGUs fully complied the FDP during assessment period. In the disaster preparedness criterion, assessment results reveal that although all provinces and cities passed, only 42 out of 67 municipalities passed. In terms of indicators, strong areas are in the organization of LDRRMC and LDRRMO, evacuation center management, and in-place early warning system while specific indicators which LGUs need to improve on are search and rescue, prepositioning of restoration and relief operations, and availability of standard operating procedures. With the aim for a condition where LGUs are sensitive to the needs of vulnerable and marginalized sectors of society, the ILG considers social protection a core assessment area in the SGLG. Indicators include access to justice, especially in cases of violence against women and children, access to quality public health facilities, support to basic education, providing privileged access for PWDs, senior citizens and pregnant women in frontline services, mandatory representation of IP in the Sangunian in compliance to Indigenous Peoples' Rights Act or IPRA law, 
and representation from non-government organizations in the local development councils consistent with Section 107 of the Local Government Code. Among the social protection criterion indicators, all provinces, cities, and municipalities complied with IP representation in the Sangonian. All provinces have at least one province-run PhilHealth accredited hospital and all cities and municipalities have at least one primary care benefits. All provinces and 90% of cities and municipalities have CSO representation in their local development councils. 90% of cities and municipalities have established mechanisms for violence against women and children. All provinces and 79% of cities and municipalities have licensed local social welfare and development officers. 80% of provinces and 92% of cities and municipalities have aligned deep ed local school board plans with at least 70% completion rate. 90% of cities and municipalities have designated express lanes in accordance to Anti-Red Tape Act. 51% of cities and municipalities have TB dots. The indicators where in LGUs can improve much on are on maternal care packages, compliance with accessibility law, and LGU managed youth homes or bahay pag-asa or any similar care facility. Among the essential elements, peace and order seems to be the criterion where most LGUs have excelled on. All provinces and cities have complied with all four indicators while all municipalities have passed the indicators on anti-criminality action plan adoption and logistical and financial support provision to local police stations and 94% municipalities passed the indicators on having local peace and order councils convene and support provided for the organization of the Barangay Peace Action Teams or its equivalent. On the matter of business friendliness, all provinces have designated LIPO officers. For the case of cities and municipalities, cities seem to have performed better in this aspect with all cities having set up their database or recording system for local business and 83% of cities have designated LIPO officers, complied with standards of simplified business processing and licensing, and among the top 50 on the competitiveness index of the National Competitiveness Council. And in the case of environmental management, only 3 out of 5 provinces have their 10-year solid waste management plan. And contrary to the business friendliness criterion, here municipalities seem to have performed better than cities. 78% of municipalities have ordinances on solid waste management. 76% have material recovery facilities. Although more cities have their 10-year solid waste management plans, there were more municipalities still with access to sanitary landfills or its alternative. All these indicators and criteria thrust upon our LGUs the drive to upscale their performance to better the lives of their constituents and improve the general welfare of the populace. Through SGLG, our provinces, cities, and municipalities make manifest their passion and commitment to provide the quality service the Filipino people deserves by becoming financially transparent and accountable, socially protective, disaster prepared, business friendly and competitive, environmentally sustainable, and peaceful and orderly. And the seal itself is the emblem of good governance and excellent performance that truly recognizes the katapatan at kahusayan ng pamahalaang lokal.